Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. We love it, don't we? You bet we do. Yes, at 1-800-5800-TOM, we are here talking about, uh, well, one particular thing this hour. And um, it's a point I made on the air when I was talking about something completely else, but um, I want to get into this. I made a comment on the air, and it's uh, gotten some uh, mixed reaction. I smile when I say that because I love when I get a mixed reaction. Uh, you know, I like that much more than when everybody agrees or everybody hates me. I love a mixed reaction. Because um, it's much more interesting to have uh, one opinion than the opposite opinion and people yelling at each other. It's just more dramatic tension. I made a comment on the air. Of course, I was being sarcastic. I'm, a, uh, I'm an atheist. But the comment I made was this. I said that um, the reason God made fat women is so that poor men would have somebody to marry. And I happen to believe that's true. In fact, I go a step further. Any man who's married to a fat woman today is only there because he can't afford to get out. Either he can't afford better, or he can't afford to get a divorce, he can't afford to pay alimony, he can't afford to pay child support, whatever. Men are not voluntarily with big fat women. There's always some other agenda going on. Fat women are there for poor guys to have somebody to marry. A man with a fat woman is there because he has no choice. You know, they always have these public service announcements. We run some of them on the network here, as a matter of fact. They have these public service announcements telling you boys to stay in school. And uh, staying in school because a public service announcement told you to do it is not nearly a good enough reason. But any of you boys think of dropping out of high school or going to the 13th grade, known as community college, any of you are thinking of dropping out of college, think about this. Here's the best reason of all to stay in school, because if you stay in school, you have a better shot at getting a hot chick. Fat women are what you get when you decide to, you know, throw it all aside and become um, a UPS delivery man, pizza man, pool boy, whatever, cashier at pavilions. You know what I'm talking about. You are doomed to a life of looking at a big fat, stretch-marked ass. That is what you get for not getting a college degree, not working hard, not being creative. The guys who work the hardest, come up with the best ideas, take the most money, they get the hottest chicks, but fat women are what poor men get. And take this a step further, going in the other direction. Any woman who says I'm large and in charge or any woman who says... Uh, you know, I don't care how big I get or how fat I am or I like food or, you know, I, it's what's inside that counts. I'm beautiful on the inside. I'm a beautiful person. Whatever. By the way, they're usually very bitter, nasty, catty, bitchy chicks, these fat women. But um, you can say all of that if you want to, dear. You're in denial. The reality is the fatter you get the less accomplished a man you can expect to attract. There's just no two ways about it. And I want you to know something else, dear. If you are over 175 pounds, take a good, close look. In fact, do this as a homework assignment. See what kind of reaction you get. This will make life uncomfortable for a few guys, but um, I want to prove a point here. Ladies, if you're over 175 pounds and under 6 feet tall, Go to your husband or significant other tomorrow and ask him if you are the woman of his dreams. Ask him if when he was a kid dreaming of having a beautiful girlfriend or whatever, if you're it. Watch him squirm because he doesn't want to tell you the real answer, which is no. You see that guy you're living with? You miss 
175 plus. Can I tell you something? He would leave today if he could afford to leave today. That includes if you got married and you were 110 or 115 pounds and you're now 175 and above. I'm telling you, if he could afford to leave today, he would. For example, the guy who married you when you were 110 pounds, then you had kids and you gained 25 pounds each time you had a kid. Now you're 180, 190 pounds. He's only there because he would have to pay out the ass for vagina money and child support. So he stayed. He suppresses it in that kind of passive-aggressive way, like turning on ESPN at 8.30 in the morning and watching it until midnight every single day. The guy you're complaining about who uh, drinks two Sixers a day on the weekend, drinks too much, smokes too much weed, he has to do that to forget that had he studied a little harder and made a little more money, he wouldn't be with your big fat ass. He'd be with a beautiful woman. And he does things to forget. Drinking, smoking, working on his car in the garage 12 hours a day on the weekend. He's doing all these things to forget. You know, as Stanley Kowalski uh, once said. No, it wasn't Stanley Kowalski. It was a Marlon Brando character, but not Stanley Kowalski. I could have been somebody. I could have been somebody. That's right. And you ladies who are large and in charge and you have husbands, you all think you're all that. In reality, he is a captive. He is a prisoner. He is stuck. The system has forced him to stay with you in sickness and in health, in fatness and in fatterness. He's stuck. Stuck with you. Trying to find ways to get an erection so that he can service you every now and then. Sad. Think about that. I always tell you, ladies, to look across the table. I always tell you to look across that table tomorrow morning at breakfast. And remember that that guy is the best you could do. That's the best you could do. I've had this argument with women many times who call up and argue with me and say, oh, no, they could have done much better. But if you could have done much better, you would have done much better. That smelly guy who makes eight dollars an hour and scratches his ass and watches sports all day the one you're married to that's as good as you could possibly do that's it right there in a nutshell so when i make a an offhand remark like god made fat women so poor guys would have somebody to marry it's truer than you know ladies And I'd be willing to bet during this hour, I will hear from men in exactly that position. And I'm also willing to bet that this hour, I'll hear from large, large, jumbo, supersized women who will call in and say that uh, their husbands love them the way they are. (laughs) No, they are captives. They are prisoners. Prisoners. They're stuck. Kind of difficult to think about, isn't it? One, two, hundred, five, eight, hundred. The more money you make, the more power you have. The more power you have, the more money you have. The more money you have, the more power you have. The more money and power you have, the more poon you can consume. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's happening? Uh, not much, John. Yeah? Just doing a radio show here. Yeah, I love your show. I listen to it every day. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just phoning in. I'm on my way to university. I'm a 20 year old guy, and I agree with you 100% that fat. Chicks, uh, you, you know, they with poor guys just because that's all they can get. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm in the engineering. It's because I want the money, I want the nice house, I want the nice car, and I want the nice girl. Well, I have said that is a man's primary motivation to succeed. You bet it is. That is why men work so hard to get better, hotter chicks. I can't agree more. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Tom. 
John, thank you for confirming what uh, everybody else ought to know by now. Ibby, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Ibby? Yes. Is that your name, Ibby? Yes, that is my name. What is Ibby short for? Ibby Jane is my first name. What kind of name is that? I'm the only one. Oh, okay. So you had illiterate parents? No. No, they weren't hippies and they weren't pot smokers, as oh. many times as I've been asked. I'm sure you have. All right, Ibby. Can I call you Ib? <laughs> if you want. All right, Ib. What can I do for you? I had a question. You were saying uh, women being large and in charge. I had met my husband at the time when I was a size 7, and whenever we'd gotten married, he'd, you know, I'd say, okay, you know, I want to go to the gym, and he's like, no, why don't you just stay home, and we'll do this, and we'll do this, and as a result, went up to, like, a size 10, and right. then he didn't even mind. He, and then I would say, okay, you know, I need to go to the gym, or I need to go on a diet, and he's like, no, you're fine. I want you big like that. Probably an insecure person who thought you'd uh, meet other guys at the gym. No. No, I didn't want any other guys. I didn't say you did. I said he is insecure. Oh, okay. Well, okay, that is why we got a divorce, is he is a very insecure, well, jealous person. That's but why. Is that why? If he wanted me to, like, be bigger and unattractive? I believe that, yes. Huh. And didn't want you going to the gym because, let's face it, there's buff guys at the gym. Yes. All right. Well, thanks for clearing that. Uh, I do enjoy your show. And, uh, Ibby, do you agree with what I'm saying here today? Yes. You do? I do. I do. I think that there are a lot of sad guys out there that do have large women because if they weren't sad, they wouldn't look at the hot young women that are smaller every time we walk by. That's right. So... Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Wendy on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Wendy. I just want to tell you I love your show. I listen to you every day. Some days I agree with you. Some days I don't. And today, Tom, I have to say I don't agree with you. Why is that? Because I am a 5'4", 185-pound girl who is engaged to a guy who's 150 pounds, 6'3", could have any girl he wants. Really? How much does he make? He makes $35 an hour. $35 an hour. Yeah. Now, let's figure this out. Does he work 40 hours a week? Um, sometimes more because he works overtime. But he averages, th averages 40 hours a week, probably. Yes. Okay. So uh, that is $1,400 a week. That is approximately uh, the, 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 about $55,000 a year. For 24 that's pretty good. He couldn't have any woman he wants. He could have uh, there okay, some women well, he could have. He could have a thin girl, definitely. Somebody thinner than you, maybe. Yes, of course, yes, because I'm, I'm a big girl. But right. I'm not, like, that roly. I'm fairly solid. I have big boobs. Um, dear, you, dear, your boobs are not 80 pounds. <laughs> no, I know. They're not. No matter how big they are, they are not 80 pounds. Of course not, no. But right. Why are you so big, if I may ask? Um, I have uh, fairly big calf muscles. Um, there, it, muscles are not fat. Well, not no. No, don't do this. Don't. You're fat because you eat too much, dear. Well, I eat what I want, sure. Well... You know what? You can't eat what you want. You have to, like, put a limit on it at some point. And I do. I do. And you do. I also, mean, I, you, I you could eat even more? Well, of course anyone could eat so more. So you want, you but... could be 285 pounds? No, I'm not going to ever get that big. But you're only 25 and you're already 185. But I've always been a bigger girl ever since I was little. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm healthy. and My doctors say I'm healthy. Well, there at 25, you're not gonna, you're not likely to have a heart attack. But check back in 10 years. But the point is, is that I am loved and wanted. Dear, I, I'm not saying there can't be an exception to the rule, and uh, it's totally possible that uh, your fiance has low self esteem. Uh, oh no way! Maybe his he's mother is fat, and he wants someone like mom. I don't know. He's a musician. He's got a very actually he's somewhat self centered and into himself. Um, but he has... He's like, a musician. What kind of musician is he? He's a guitar player. Uh, like what kind of music? 
like rock music. I see. And and I hope you're going out to see him every night, right? You are. Of course, yeah. Because you know what would happen if you didn't. Oh, and I trust him. He goes out without me and Uh totally (laughs) No wonder he's able to stay with you because he goes out on his own. Of course, and so do I. Yeah, but you don't go out with other guys. He knows that. You're 185. I have guy friends that I go out with, and he has girlfriends that he goes out with. Mm -hmm. And... Anytime we're together, we're all over each other. And, and Everybody knows we're together. Everyone respects us, and we respect right. each other. Right, and, and you're telling home. me that the women who see him play, and by the way, he doesn't make his money as a musician. Of course he does. Dear. The, some, of, some of his music, yeah. Musicians are not paid by the hour. Well, no, but... Not unless they're working on, like, The Tonight Show or something. They're not. <laughs> right, but it is somewhat of an income. No, but so. what does he actually do for a living? He's a union carpenter. Uh, oh, he's a carpenter who, on the side, for almost no money, plays occasionally at clubs when he gets a gig. Yeah. Oh, but you you make it sound like he's uh yeah you know he's a musician. Well, he is a musician. It's, it's... Yes, yes, I know, and I'm a writer, and uh, <laughs> Dean is a movie actor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, he may look like a telephone screener, but in actuality, he's an actor. Okay. Brad is a major league baseball player. <laughs> now, you th- you think he just runs the boards of the Tom Likas show, but pitchers and catchers are reporting the camp right now. <laughs> I mean, come on, he's a carpenter. Well, give me this he's crap. A very good carpenter. Hey, well, dear, but yeah, you're telling me he's a musician. He's both. Come on, I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> I have a camcorder. <laughs> All I have to say is not only him, but I have. Plenty of other guys hitting on me all the time. I think I'm beautiful. I know, dear. What you side. think is irrelevant. Oh, and I know it, though, Tom. I know it. I know it. Guys tell me all the time. I'm very attractive. I have a great personality. I have a good job. Good guy. Dear, personality has nothing to do with whether you're beautiful. Oh, but I am. I'm physically attractive. Dear, okay, you're I 185 think. pounds. Yeah, so? Everybody, Dean is making a very good point. Everybody says that to you. They say that to you, but do they? What do they say behind your back? Oh, I have no no idea what they say behind my. That's back. That's my point, darling. Of course. Oh, you have such a pretty face. Well, it's, it's other comments other than my face. You have such a beautiful my personality. Arms, my legs, my arms. Come on, where is all the fat? Yeah, eighty pounds of breast. I'm actually, I'm not like it's not focused in one portion of my body. It's, is it all in your head? No, no, it's all over my body. I'll it's- bet it is. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show and Dean. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Rayanne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. I love your show, Tom. Thank you. I've been listening to it since I came to Baltimore. Oh, cool. Yeah. Actually, I, you asked the other girl about a guy who's attracted to fat women? Yes. Tom Arnold. Well, wait a minute. Now, I've seen Tom Arnold's uh, most recent wife, who uh, I mean, okay, well, married recently, to. Okay, well, was Roseanne not a big fat heifer? Uh, yes. Did he not bang her? Well, Did he not marry her? Well, now, this brings up another question, okay? Before he got married to Roseanne, um... Who was Tom Arnold? Exactly. He was nobody. All right. So was he with her because, uh, and I don't know. I know Tom Arnold. I guess we should ask him this question. But <laughs> was he was he there because he was a chubby chaser? Because he's trying to get a leg up in the business by putting both legs up? I, I don't know. I don't know either. But I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that was one guy I thought of that liked big fat women, whether it be for their money. Well, we or... only know of him being with one. One. I don't know. To be a chubby chaser is somebody who, like, you know, it's one after another. It's like a string up. What's his new wife look like? His new well, he's, he, well, he's married, I think, four years now, but he, his wife is hot. Is she? I, I was with him at a party and saw her there uh, shortly after they got together, and uh, uh, she is hot stuff. Now, he's, he's lost weight, but he's not hot, so is she with him for his money? I haven't asked her that question. I don't know. But you know her. But, what do you think? Well, I, uh, no, I don't really know her. I, I met her at a party, but I, I don't really know her. Tom Arnold I've spent more time with. But I will tell you this, uh, as I have always said, uh, women are with men for uh, money, power, and fame. 
I, Tom Arnold has at least two of the three, and maybe all three. Maybe. I'm not like that. I'm the I'm the exception, Tom. You're the exception. You have no interest in money, power, or fame. Or is it because you're not attractive enough to get a guy with money, power, and fame? No, I'm not attractive enough. Well, I mean, that, well, so it's not that you're not interested. I'm it, not interested. I'm I'm really not. Yeah, but wanna, of course, I'm why be unrealistic? I mean, why why keep reaching for the stars if um, you're three feet tall? There's no point. You're not going to reach it. Right. I'm one of those ladies that. Uh, you warn your guys about single mom, all that good stuff. Oh yeah, well, and why why'd you go and do that, if I may ask? Um, you know, I just like sex, and they were not. I like sex with condoms. Yeah, well, you don't. You know. But let me tell you something: I do not charge any of those fathers child support. How many are there? There's three. Three different fathers with th for three different kids. Yep. Why did you do that? I don't know. Do you ever hear the pill? <laughs> Yeah. You ever think of looking into it? No, I'm on. I'm. I'm fixed right now. Now you're fixed. But no. you, what are you like? Are you? Are you? Are you like a bitch in heat? I mean. I am. I am. I have to admit, I am. You couldn't I just like take the pill or something. <laughs> I ran out and I'm lazy about going to get back. Oh to the <laughs> my God! How much do you weigh? I weigh 185. 185. Of course you do. I do have my share of fupa. Oh. So yeah. Yeah. Oh that. boy, it's the fupa yeah. queen. But you know what? I'm a good piece of ass, so. You're a, you're a big piece of ass. I know that. I am a big piece of ass. <laughs> but you see, you see, you, you're proving my point here. Of course you don't. Why? Why stand there wishing for a man with money, power, and fame? Why would a man with money, power, and fame be with a 185 pound woman with three different children from three different fathers? Exactly. That, so I'm you'll never get that. But you know what? My boyfriend looks good. So. He looks good. How much does he make? He's a Marine, so he doesn't... Nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh-huh. He makes nothing. Right. And that's, uh, that's about as good as you're going to do. You know what? I love him. He loves me. You have no choice, dear. I have no choice. I, that's as good as you're going to do. But you know what? He's a good choice, so he's good for me. Well, I, I hope he keeps it in his pants while he's overseas. Me too. <laughs> But um, I love your show, and can you take me out with Long Hit? Of course I can. <coughs> John on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom, what's up, man? How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good, John. Right on, long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. Hey, not a problem. Hey, that chick that called up earlier? Yeah. It was 185, said she was like 5'4 or something? Yep. Yeah. Her uh, boyfriend was a uh, an acclaimed musician. Right. A musician and, who was actually a carpenter. Yeah, a carpenter. Well, I used to be a carpenter, and the pay scale pops out at like 28 bucks. Oh, no. Well, she admitted that the money he makes is as a carpenter, not a musician. He still doesn't make that much as a carpenter, though. First of all, dude, there's barely any work, especially in California. Oh. I mean, she's lying right there. She's lying out of her ass. That That's bull. No. Second of all, if she is a fat chick like that, hell no. The guy has got low self-esteem. Just like you were saying, dude, I completely agree with you. Yeah, and she, oh, I, I trust him. He can go out and play gigs, and he, I trust him. It's like, yeah. come on. Yeah. You know musicians. Come on. I do. I do. <laughs> it's scandalous, man. No. No. <laughs> Yeah, Tom. I mean, I got a girlfriend right now. I've been with her for three years, surprisingly enough. I love her to death. And, uh, I mean, when I first got together with her, she was about, I'd say, 125 pounds. Now she weighs about 135. Three years later, she's about 5'6". She looks... And I really don't make that much money. I mean, I don't make that much money. Pal, we can't say that word. You've now said it twice in oh. two sentences. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. But, I mean, she's still with me. She loves me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hi. Right. But, I mean, I mean, she's got sisters, and they're... Uh, Are you well, doing them, too? Me? Yeah. Uh, hell no. Oh, I was wondering why you were telling us about them. No, no, well, they're of the uh, large and in charge type, I guess you'd say. Don't worry, that's your future, John. If she went from oh. 125 to 135 in this period of time... In three years? Pal, there's no reason. How old is she? Uh, she's 22. Pal, if she gained 10 pounds between age 19 and 22, trust me, 
it goes up exponentially from here. And the rest of the girls are fat? Uh, all but one of them. Yeah. How about uh, her mother? Um, her mother, well, she was hot when she was younger. Yeah, but now? Well, now she's almost 60. How much does she weigh? Oh, crap, dude. A lot, right? Uh, she weighs, uh, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but she's... 180? Yeah. No, no, not 180. 170? She's probably about 160. Yeah, that's your future. Ah, dang. Come on, Tom. Look at the mother. That's the future. Okay, I guess you got a point there. <laughs> of course. I mean, it's it's called genetics, pal. Yeah, that's true. I'm just hoping that she falls after uh, her other sister. I mean, because her other sister, I mean, she's about 10 years older than her. She still looks... Why does she gain 10 pounds? At, at, at such a young age. She likes to eat. Right. She, she likes to eat. eat. What do you think happens to people who like to eat? However, she at least exercises, though. For now. She's concerned about... She hasn't gotten you to stuff. sign on the dotted line yet. Trust me when I'm well, telling you. Well, she doesn't want kids because she doesn't want to get fat. Doesn't matter. Once she gets you to sign on the dotted line, she will not be exercising so much. She will be eating more. Her hair, if it is not short now, will be chopped shorter. Oh, uh, no, she loves her hair. I'm telling you, you don't know what you're in for. You have a girlfriend at too young an age. <laughs> she's already getting comfortable with you because she gained 10 pounds during that time. And loves to eat. Oh, man. That's where that goes. Do you understand that? Uh, yeah. I speak from experience, pal. Oh, I know. This is I where it goes. All the time, man. Yeah. Well, a 19-year-old girl, between 19 and 22, gains 10 pounds. Where do you think that goes from there? What incentive does she have to lose that weight or not gain any more weight once she gets you to sign? She's really self-conscious? Pal, she's only self-conscious because she hasn't got you to sign yet. Uh, she's pushing for it, though. I know she is. So she can uh, eat what she wants. Not have to exercise so much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Right. Well, so if you know that, why would you marry her? I'm not married yet. Not yet? No, no. But you're heading down that path. It's getting closer. Pal, you're 22. Yeah, I know. Too young. And she's starting to bulk up already. Yeah, but surprisingly enough, now she's actually starting to lose it. She hasn't lost it yet. <laughs> That's true. Damn. And you and you said she likes to eat. She's not dieting, is she? Nah, she's half Italian. What does that mean? <laughs> Thanksgiving at her house is insane. Right, it's 27 courses of pasta and ham and turkey and yeah. pasta. Absolutely. I know. I had an uncle who was Italian. I know. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Right. And uh, how do the uh, ants look in the family? Are there any ants? Uh, not that I... Any older female relations? Uh, I mean, just her sisters. How about her grandmother? Uh, dead. Dead, okay. Dead. Do you know what she looked like before she died? Um, she was in pretty good shape. She was? Yeah, surprisingly. All right. Are you sure you were seeing a recent picture? Uh, it was from, I believe, about 10 years ago, okay. before she died. All right. And she wasn't, like, losing weight prior to because of chemo or something? No, no, no. Right, just checking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, pal, I, I suggest you do a little thinking here and not just jump right in. Absolutely. Or you're going to have that same problem a lot of these guys are complaining about. <laughs> then you'll be a prisoner. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800. Tom. I banged my girlfriend in the A. She was passed out drunk. That's terrible. You didn't get any enjoyment out of this, did you? Oh, oh me? Oh, oh, heavens no, heavens no. Of course, I didn't take any pictures of that either. It's the Tom Likas Show. On the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey John. Uh, yeah, I've been listening to you ever since you came to Baltimore. Um, I just want to say, with these fat chicks being in charge, it does depend what you make. My dad's been a cop all his life, you know. 
probably hasn't topped over 36,000 a year. And he's been with my mom, and, you know, she topped out at 450 pounds. Uh-huh. And, you know, it, it just sickens me to see anybody with a fat woman. I'm 20 years old. I refuse to be with a fat woman just because of, you know, seeing my mom being grossly obese my whole life. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I got teased. I got beat up for it. You know, I can't help that. And I just, I can't stand these fat chicks that say, oh, I'm cute. I'm, I'm, I'm very eating in bed. It's, it's bull crap. And is your dad faithful to your mom? No, he's cheated on my mom. He had a 14-year affair with a woman right up the street. How did you find out about it? He finally came clean when I turned 18. Wow. And, you know, then I started questioning and come to find out I've got a 40-year-old half-sister running around that doesn't even know about me. No, really? Yeah, my sister's 31. I'm only 20. And, you know, I've God knows how many brothers and sisters i got in Vietnam. Wow. You know? My pay my dad's 61, my mom's, you know, 56. And she's still with him, you know, but she finally went and had one of those gastric bypasses, and she's down to 280. But, you know, it's too late for all the damage, you know. Wow. And do you think your mother played a part in that by being 400 pounds? Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. You know, every time she got upset, you know, she'd hit, you know, hit the refrigerator and start eating again. Jesus. So... Tell you what, what a story. I mean, it's just because of that, these fat chicks that call in and you know, say they're hot. And it's, no. It's they're large and in charge. Get it right. Large and in charge. <laughs> large and in charge of the refrigerator. That's about it. <laughs> Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1 800 5800 866. If they hurt me, I stop loving. There's no. Second chance forgiveness. If they, I mean, if someone took a knife and put it in my heart and I survived, I could not come out of the hospital and say, I love you, man. <laughs> I couldn't do it. The Tom Likas Show. On Tom Likas Show, 1 800 5 800 Tom. Ron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Ron. I just launched my girlfriend. Tell me about it. Well, it was right after my birthday, right before Valentine's Day, right before her birthday. She was 185, and I was tired of it. I make good money. I got a lot of stuff going on, and I needed an upgrade. And you knew you could. Yes, exactly. Did you tell her that's why you were dumping her? Nope. I just let her go. Just told her I didn't want to be with her no more. Really? Yep. How did she react to that? Oh, she was pissed. She was pissed. You, did you give her any reason? I just told her that I was sick of being with her. She didn't go to the gym. She didn't work out. She didn't take care of herself. She couldn't stay out of the refrigerator. Oh, so you told her that? Well, yeah. And she was mad yeah, at that you. Was, that was one of the reasons, yeah. I'll bet she's in the gym now. Probably. That's what they all do. I go yeah. to the gym, by the way, three days a week. So you I know, know who I know who's there. Exactly. You know and, and at least half of the women there have just come off a marriage or a relationship. Yep. Well, you a know marriage what? or a relationship, ladies, you could have saved had you gone to the gym while you were in it. Exactly. You know what, Tom? I'm not the best-looking guy. I'm not the lightest guy. But, you know, Mom Atkins, just, just trying to lose some weight and mm -hmm. get better girls. Good for you. I know the deal. Yep. Thank you for that, Ron. It's Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? It is um, a statement. <laughs> okay, Tom, I got something to say to you. I do not agree at all with you. How fat are you? Um, I'm not fat. I weigh 150 and I'm 5'9". No, you uh, you got junk in the trunk there, dude. No. 150 is not spelt. Yeah, I'm sorry? You, you got a little gutted hanging over the beltage there. Uh, okay, whatever you say, Tom. <laughs> At 150? Come on. Okay, well, I have 36 double D boobs, and I got a nice little butt. And, I mean, I have not got any complaints from anybody, so... Well, who's going to complain if you're giving them free sex? Well, sex is good, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, I got... My mom has a couple of friends, and they're, you know, overweight. Fat. And what? Fat. Sure, fat. They're fat. Okay. Okay, they're fat. 
Um, but, you know, they have married some rich men. You know, I live in Palos Verdes, and you know where Palos Verdes is. Yes, I do. Okay. Rich men up there, you know, good-looking, young, rich what, men. What, they want fat women? I find that hard to believe, dear. Thank you for the call. The Tom Likas Show.